next today? Yeah, it's number 40. Well, this guy seems like he's having a good time. To make matters worse. To kick a dead horse while it's down. We um, had one similar to this. I don't remember which one it was. But yeah, to make matters worse too. When it's already raining on your program. And then the storm comes in and starts raining cats and dogs even more. So to, uh, yeah, to make your problems even worse than they already are. You say, um, I got, ev I'm getting an eviction notice from my house, but now my power just got shut off too. So you would say to make matters worse, my power just got shut off also. So yeah, go ahead, so. <laughs> Yes. So to make matters worse. So here matters in this sense means problems. To make problems worse. So I might say I have to work late tonight and to make matters worse. I have an appointment early tomorrow morning. Next. <laughs> this one here, number 41. I like these ones because I know exactly what they mean by don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. There's a song, it's called Don't uh, Check My Swag. It's a Christian song and he's a rapper. But it's it's basically like um, don't judge a book by its cover because of the way he's dressed. But yet he's he's got tattoos. But yet he's still a Christian. But look at this guy. He's got a mohawk. He looks like a punk rocker. Um, someone that uh, you wouldn't want your children to be around, but then you see in the shadow there, he's an angel. So he's a, he's a good person. But just because he's dressed funny and weird, people would judge him. And yeah, so. And, and as Saw, she's seen past my tattoos and seen me, so she didn't judge me by my cover. So yeah, just wow. because it looks, yeah, it doesn't mean it's it's a bad a bad person or a bad thing. Um so yeah. Don't judge it just because of the way it looks. Look into it first. Read yeah. the back. Yeah, so go ahead, Saw. Yes, yes. Great, for sure. Yes, I, I didn't judge you. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, by its cover, like <laughs> a book by its cover. So yes, don't judge a book by its cover. It, uh, it means don't judge someone or something purely on appearance. For example, uh. Let's say I'm hiring people and I say, I'm not going to hire him. Look at his hair. And then my colleague would say, well, don't judge a book by his cover. Look at his resume. Yes, don't judge a book by its cover. Have you? Have you reviewed his resume? Okay. For sure. So, uh, number 42, we got uh, a funny picture here. This guy's flying in the air with some two chairs to fall between two stools. You know, I don't know. I've never heard of this one. Let's see. We would say to fall between oh, yeah. the... Uh, what, what do you got used when something falls to fails to achieve both of two objects? Yeah, I've never, I've actually never heard of this one. To fall between two stools. Um, yeah, so go ahead and take this one away, Saw. Oh, yes, uh huh. Yeah, so to fall be, uh, between two stools. Yes. Oh, didn't you listen about before? Ah, I missed this one. 
we got something similar where something falls between the cracks, but that's like, um, like if you have um, documents and there's one of the documents that slips in the cracks, falls between the cracks where you don't see that document. Um, well, so it gets put up in the roster or whatever. So yeah, fall between the cracks or slip in the cracks, sit, slip between the cracks, but something that the, the government does all the time slips things through the cracks you know so go ahead so yeah uh -huh. yeah take this one away yeah so uh this idiom has to fall between two tools where this is where something fails to achieve two separate objectives so let's say you're planning to watch a romantic comedy movie. That movie is supposed to be romantic and funny at the same time. A romantic comedy, two, two objectives. So you could say the movie, that movie, fell between two stools. It wasn't romantic and it wasn't funny. Oh, that's good. Perfect. You learned something today. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. I bet you if I said that at work, people would not know what I was talking about, though. Yes, yeah, some in Portuguese, I don't know. Uh, sometimes I need to take a look what it means. Because <laughs> yeah. there are so many. Even in different regions of Brazil, there are different ones. We used to say that and even though there are some uh, dictionary for Northeast people, because they have a lot of, um, so many idioms, but in the whole Brazil. Yes. So that, I mean, yeah, yeah maybe even people on the East Coast say it, it falls between two stools. Um, yeah, so it falls in between, you know, the judgments. So yeah, number 43, to cost an arm and a leg. Uh, I got a joke for that one, but um, might take too long, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, to cost okay, an arm. Okay, please. Did I say I, it? Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so God made Adam and, uh, and he he had him name all the animals and for doing so um he was gonna treat him with something but then he uh adam was like well i need a partner and well god was like okay well i'm gonna make you the perfect being someone that's gonna <clears throat> do your becking call be there anytime you you're going to be the most beautiful being in the, the universe. They're always going to pick you up when you're down. They're going to help you out all the time, all your pleasures. And he said, whoa, 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 whoa what's that going to cost me? And God said, well, an arm and a leg. And he's like, oh, that seems pretty steep. Let me think about that for a oh. minute. Uh -huh. Well comes back to God and asks, well, what can I get for a rib? <laughs> so, <laughs> and then here we are with the women we have now. So, <laughs> just kidding. And a lot of things, it's new for me, you know. I know. Yes. yes. So number 43, to cost an arm and a leg, something that is way expensive, way too expensive. Um, and so we would say, well, geez, that's, that's, costs an arm and a leg for that. That car is really expensive. That's an arm and a leg. So it's something way more than it should be. So go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, to cost an arm and a leg. This is when something is ex exceptionally expensive. Uh, my fight cost me an arm and a leg. 
<laughs> so it means something that it's even more expensive than usually is. Yes, my flight cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> 